Hey everyone, it's Dana. And it's Heather. And we're SoFlo Moms, Moms on, on the Go. go. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> we are excited because you know why? It's Friday. <laughs> it is. So happy Friday to everyone. We hope your day goes fast and that you have some fun things planned for this weekend. Yes. My kids are hoping the day goes by fast. Yes. They're yes. so happy it's Friday. So yes, it's been a fun filled week together. It has. It's been very busy. Very busy. Um, planning ahead for future, enjoying the present moment. Um, I think I'm finally over the whole holiday thing. Oh geez. It really took me that long to like get back on my laundry schedule. Well, you and did go out of town for a week, so yeah. that was hard. But yeah. uh, come on. I that mean, was hard. I I my know. kids came in in the morning one more time to be like, I don't have socks. I don't have underwear. Oh, I was no. Gonna, like, oh, I'm still a hot mess with that. We've got baskets help. of clothes that still. No, I will share. Mm -hmm. There's been a there's been a pile of laundry on the couch all week and my kids are going to the couch and grabbing their clothes for school. Well, at least they know where and to go. And that's how you roll, motherhood. Yep. <laughs> and they're not waking you. That's my thing. Just oh, going. no. Somebody okay. was in my room last night. Uh, uh, Anytime we go live the next day, there's some a visitor in my room at 3 a.m. So <laughs> You're like, Thanks. We snuggled. Hey, one day we won't be able to do that. So, anyways. I know. Enjoy it while you got it. So, we are here today. Actually, we're right outside of WPTV. We're down in downtown West Palm Beach. And we are, um, have we have a special show interview today. Yes. So we're interviewing an author you may know and an illustrator that you may know. So you have to stay tuned. It's yes. going to be a lot of fun. You may not fun. know that that's what they are. Exactly. They have other, <gasps> they, alter that's ego. their side hustle. Their alter ego. Yeah. I love it. Oops, we might be hitting the mic there. So Sorry. What's, uh, like we said, there's so many things going on. Last week, we went live at Flavors of Boca. So if you happen to miss that show, mm -hmm. it's a replay. You can just scroll on down and um, check out the replay. It was a fabulous event. Oh, my gosh. That was so much fun. The amount of food and wine and fun stuff going on. It, it was, was like, amazing. it was phenomenal. Amazing. And then yesterday, we actually had a really fun meeting with a, a company that works, uh, that's like, built for kids I'll just give you that hint hashtag built for kids so that was our lunch and then our evening was oh gosh we were uh, at a special Bo Boca Bacchanal sneak peek so if you don't know what Boca Bacchanal is it's an amazing wine and food event that happens in Boca Raton and it's a two-day event and I think it's April 6th and, and 7th, 7th. Mm -hmm. yeah so we the media was invited for a sneak peek and one of their sponsors was Excel, Excel Auto. Auto. Oh my gosh. Let me say bright orange McLaren to Louis Bossies. Yeah, so they are an auto dealer that deals in like luxury used cars. Unbelievable. So though. you rode in a what? I had the I had the McLaren. An orange McLaren. It was and I had awesome. the lime green Lamborghini. And literally <laughs> I love you, Guy. Hi. He drove me to Louis Bossy last night. It was so crazy fun. Mm -hmm. um, we were safe. <laughs> <laughs> we got there in one piece, but I could tell you, I was oh like, I gosh. wonder if there are cops on Glees or Federal. It was a like rush. Flying. It was amazing. It was it a was rush. So, much fun. so, yeah, so they gave us a sneak peek of that's one of their major sponsors. And then we went to Louis Bossy. Then we switched cars and rode in the Sprint Mercedes. The Mercedes Sprinter. And that yeah. is like. A luxury seated van. I guess it's like a van. It I kind guess. of looks like a van, but it's like it's Mercedes. So I don't think you can it was call amazing. it a van. So we were in there and we went to Seasons 52. Mm -hmm. And then from Seasons 52, we hopped back into the Sprinter. Yes, and, and we went, went to, to um, Maggiano's. Yes, and we had fried ravioli and meatballs. Oh my gosh, those were awesome. The wine was really good the too. The wine was really good. I was checking so, out that label. And then we went back to Saks, which that's where we started Saks Fifth Avenue at Town Center Mall and um, just had a little toast to kick off kind of all the events that are going to be happening in Saks Fifth Avenue is one of their major sponsors as well. Mm. So it was a lot of fun. I know. We I felt know. like it's a tough job, people. <laughs> <laughs> and we got home and we were like, oh. <sighs> so we decompressed and got ready for this morning. So yeah. we are so excited to be here. We are going to introduce our guests. You may know them from watching WPTV in the morning hours. We have meteorologist Glenn Glazer and Ashley Walters, and I am so excited to have you guys here. You want to come over? Oh. I'm like, He's you like, want what? to come over? You want to shift? Yes. Yeah, we're, doing this now. Yeah. we're doing it. <laughs> cool. I brought my copy because I I want I want you to sign it. Oh, really? Yes, later. Oh, you want me to sit next to the 
Oh, no. All you right, I'm looking at the comments here. <laughs> Careful. Thanks for having oh, us. Hi. Our pleasure. <laughs> Our Hello. pleasure. So I am sure everyone knows you, but if you'd like to introduce yourself to the SoFlo community. Hello, SoFlos. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I'm Glenn Glazer. I'm the morning meteorologist at the NBC affiliate West Palm Beach News Channel 5 and my cohort and partner in crime, Ashley Walters. Yes, I'm the morning anchor here on WPTV News Channel 5. And we're really thrilled to meet you all. This is so fun. I know. I, know. Awesome. I was so excited when I learned that you guys collaborated on a book and that you wanted to come on our show. We were so excited. <laughs> so excited. Because I like watch you. Every, you know, I'm one of those like crazy, like I watch you guys every morning instead oh, yeah. of my kids. We, we know who you are. I know. We're those crazy <laughs> like, what is Glenn saying today? If, you know, do I need an umbrella? Do I need, you know. It's our picture up in the uh, the break room. Like, watch but out for that. But he cued the <laughs> awesome weather today for sure. Seriously, yeah. do you call for this, right? I did. Uh, even if I hadn't, I would say yes immediately to your question. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> of course I did. No, but I did. Yeah, this is easy. Um, so, we wrote a book. Yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> your little side hustle yeah, here. So, <clears throat> so yeah. tell us a little bit about yeah. this awesome book. <clears throat> Don't touch my baby. Well. <laughs> Ashley and I have been friends for like a million years. Oh, that's great. Um, <laughs> a million years? It hasn't been Aww. Like that. Aww. Was there, was there an Aww. Aww. Aww, that's Friendship. so nice. Friends. <laughs> um, so Ashley, fortunately and unfortunately, has been able to watch my wife. She's also very good friends with my wife. And she's been able to watch us sort of progress from being people without kids to people with kids. Yes. And that's quite a transition. Yes, right. it is. To make um, certainly a lot of different aspects of your life change, but also there's some personality changes that happen once you have right. kids. And um, some are great, and some you hope to correct later in life when your kids move out. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably. Um, Preferably. Yeah. But so Ashley had a really good perspective on on this book and um do you want to say anything before i go into what the book well, is about i think it is just... interesting actually i mean i have eight nieces and nephews i have three oh older gosh. siblings and so and they're all very different people they're all yeah. amazing and they've raised just the best kids in the world but they all have a different style and different approach and it is actually interesting to watch that transition and the when you get so much it's an avalanche of advice from people yeah like mm -hmm. i've wow. never seen and I, it's got to be the biggest life change that really happens that's that oh people sure. want to go through but then they're like this is wild it so is. it's been fun to watch you know glenn and tasha and and they're beautiful children who have grown up in just a really yeah. happy loving house so it's been a lot of fun yeah <laughs> Oh He's yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's so a lot. Of, I know. That's no. Awesome. No. Nice I, you know, you guys know. Sometimes in life, you feel like you're the greatest parent ever, and then sometimes you're like, oh, parent fail. I'm yeah. the worst oh, parent ever. You know, so, sure. so yeah. But um, you have to go through those parent fails to become yeah. a fabulous. They're parent. the peaks yeah. and valleys of parenthood. Ooh, One yeah. day you're like in the car, and something awesome happens, and you're like, okay, okay. And then the next day you're like, oh my god! I'm, hide, I'm this hiding. This is the in hardest my... day ever. I can't even believe what happened. I'm like hiding in my bathroom, calling Heather. Like you're not gonna believe <laughs> what, what just happened. happened. Yeah. And then she makes me feel better. She call, she talks me off the cliff, and then I come outside. I'm like, everything's great. Yes, you you parents at, have to stick together and pump each other you up. You look at your children some days, and you're like, who are, are you? you? Yes. What, what, <laughs> what happened to my <laughs> other <laughs> nice child? Um, so here's what happened with this. I we have a wonderful pediatrician. Everybody, mm -hmm. I, hopefully, everybody thinks they have a great pediatrician. But um, we were like sort of freaking out when I mean we were excited about having a baby, but then they make you go through all those classes and they tell you all those terrible things that can happen to your right. kids. If right. you, be careful not to do this and be careful, and it becomes sometimes it can become really overwhelming. Like, yeah, oh, do sure. we are there things we need to like preparing the nursery? Mm -hmm. Everyone freaks out about preparing the nursery. The truth is, for the most part. The kid sleeps in your room for the first, like, four or five months oh, yeah. in, in a bassinet or whatever. Exactly. You have another five months to get the nursery ready before really you do. make that transfer, usually. Unless you're one of the people like, get out. And you put the kid in there right away. Like, um, so little things like that. But also, like, scary stuff like SIDS and all kinds of things where they, they put it in your head and you're yes. like, oh, so God, much. are you on your back? Don't turn on yeah. your stomach. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? all night watching the monitor. Yeah, you don't sleep. Yeah, and Ever. the first time they sleep past like four or five hours, like, oh my God, are they dead? What's going yes. on? You go in there and they're like, oh no, they're okay. <laughs> oh. Breathing, oh, they're okay. All right. You're touching. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So one of the things that we were really concerned about is, you know, for the, one of the things, don't let anybody touch them unless they had their whooping cough vaccine and yeah. things like that. And we're like, oh, my God, we have to test everybody for their vaccines. But <laughs> the pediatrician imagine. said, first of all, I said, calm down. Look, here's the thing. All children get sick. No matter mm-hmm. what you do, unless you put them in a bubble somewhere where no, nothing can ever come in and out, they're going to get sick. Your job as a parent is to do your best to keep them from getting really, really sick. Right, right. Um, so any little thing that you can do to help, whether it's hand gel or wipes or whatever, you know, whatever, uh, every little bit helps. You never know what you could avoid just by simply wiping their hands. You never oh, know. Yeah. Um, and I have parents, I have friends who think that work crazy sometimes. You know, we wipe something down or do whatever, oh, like no, a gross, this time of year. grocery cart yeah, or a high chair at a restaurant no, or whatever, or the table in front of you. Um, that, you know, and sometimes those people who think we're crazy, they have sick kids all the time. I'm not saying who you are. I'm just saying. But then there are other, <laughs> there are other friends like us who do stuff, and they also have sick kids sometimes. Sure, so, you okay. know, it happens. But one of the things that my wife and I were both amazed at, I would say, or just, just totally weirded out by, is how people don't have the same social barriers with adults as they do with children. Like, you would never walk up to an adult and be like, yay, you know, and grab their face. But people feel like that's okay to do to a baby. And if it's your baby, you're like, what in the world? Like, why is this stranger walking up? And, and, and I mean, it's in a way, and Ashley will tell you that in a way, um, she's helped me understand that in a way, it is flattery. Oh, we cry. They think, such a good they think your baby's right, cute right. and they want to touch your baby. Mm. But at the same time, as that protective parent mode takes over and you're like, don't touch my child without asking me coming up. And we've had people do weird stuff, like weird stuff, like put their finger in the kids, in your kid's mouth and do mm-hmm. stuff like weird things, you know, that hand it's them things. Them. I had a, it's not in the book, but we were in the parking lot, I think it was Walmart one time and it just rained and my son's binky fell in a puddle and somebody walking by picked it up and said, oh, and stuck it back in his mouth. And we were like, <gasps> no. I think they were being helpful they were, because it fell out. But we were like, ah, oh you know, yeah. lay it up, whatever. <laughs> um, so anyway, this book is kind of tongue in cheek. Yes, and it, it. it's, it's called it's called Don't Touch My Baby, a book for the current or soon to be OCD, yeah. OCD parent. Um, and no, we have not been diagnosed with OCD, I but, you know, I mean, it, some people will jokingly call it that whenever right. if you're overly cautious, things like that. But um, so these are real things that happen, and right. they're right. in this. It, this is the only adult book that I've written. I've written all children's books except for this, which is written like a children's yeah, book. I love it. And I said to Ashley, I, I usually let Ashley just take free reign because she's such a beautiful artist, an amazing artist. Um, but nice. I said I really want this to kind of look like uh, my biggest heroes when I was a kid were Dr. Seuss and mm-hmm. Shel Silverstein, who wrote yeah. Where the mm-hmm. Sidewalk Ends and. And the Giving Tree, the giving and tree. so she. I feel. I feel like, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that you kind of. This has a very Shel Silversteiny feel to it, but it's also your own. I think take my, on that stuff. my yeah. goal here is that the people are. Um, <laughs> first of all, you never see the parents' reaction. I think, right. That's awesome. So like the parents always kind of like out of frame, or you don't really quite see them. And the whole idea is that like, no, you can have your own reaction to it, but right. the people are like. It's a little nutty, but it is, again, coming from a good place. And it's hard to explain, but, like... And also, I think somebody finally noticed... um, I think it was my dad. He was like, the little crumbles by the hands... Uh-huh. Like, yes, mm-hmm. you can just picture those like oh, the yeah. germs. The germs so, like, oh, that, yeah. like, coming just, off the people. There's something yes. like a little There's I mean, always a little a bit of them. Oh, oh my gosh, I love that. There's something yeah. a little off, but also like they are like it's they're in a happy joyful moment right so it is i mean it's coming from a good place but i think it also has that kind of an edge to it that a, parents will likely appreciate <laughs> i read this the first time after i met with you and i read it and i'm like this is hysterical <laughs> i couldn't even i gave it to my husband he's like oh my gosh that happened to us yeah. or it's so relatable yeah, yeah. too no i mean i can tell the story right now i went to the pediatrician both my kids, my first baby was born in November. So he is like, stay home. It's the holiday season. Don't go out. And I was like, fine. And then, I mean, he was a good guy. And I was like, fine. Okay, first kid, I stayed home. The day that I took that baby out to the mall, a woman walked up and was like, oh, your baby is so cute. And I was like, 
Oh my gosh, he told me to say home and I didn't say home. And she's all over my baby and why did I take my baby out? Yep. You know, and that's what happens. And so, yes, I the minute I started reading this, I was like, oh my gosh, this happened to me. So it's so relatable. It's so awesome. Mm-hmm. I will so say funny. parents with, with second children, that is true too. All those funny commercials are like first child second child oh it's so completely true, true. like well there's i mean we're still careful with our second <laughs> yeah. child but it's much there's a lot less anxiety involved because sure, right. you've, you've learned a few things from the first child and you could mm-hmm. sort of inconspicuously you know do the hands well, the or whatever thinking. you need to do yeah yeah, yeah, like thinking, yeah. Yeah. Them, you know. Yo, yeah totally yeah, yeah. 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 The, the parent like, licks the, first, the binky you and puts the first it back kid, in. Like, I never would have done this for you, but yeah. this one. Yeah, you have the yeah. pot boiling for the binky the first time. Yeah. The yeah. My sister time. had this method with her baby because people would be reaching for the baby, and she would just slowly keep adding <laughs> <laughs> it. And then suddenly, you know, it's like, oh, can they just give up? You know, yeah, like, that's our, everybody that's has actually. this little method of, I don't know, Glenn right. used to, like, it's the very first Sunfest where he had beautiful little Jude. <laughs> In the stroller, I look over and there's a stop sign. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had that. And you clicked it. And what did it say? I cannot. It was something, something like, like it was a little poem. Wash like, your hands before touching mine, or something yeah. like that. Like oh something my gosh, like I that. Found that. Yeah. It's actually pretty really effective. Yeah. 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 Well, or you well. could just prop this in the stroller. Oh. And there it is, right there. Yeah. As you wheel your baby. Around. My wife has that same method that she uses. You know, we have um, my grandfather lives down in Boca and he's 96 and he lives oh. in a community with a lot of uh, older people and um, that generation loves to touch babies oh, yeah. and, and it, it's, it's, it's it from their generation thing. it's it a is. generational thing they miss a lot of them miss their grandkids you know mm-hmm. who aren't visiting at the time and they, and they see a child and they can't wait um, and we want them to be able to see the children because we know it makes them feel good but my wife has is very good about she definitely like oh she yes the here's the baby but she does the pivot <laughs> and whenever we're walking through like a hallway she calls it the gauntlet she's like i'm going through the gauntlet she like she yeah she's so like funny it's like it's really funny they could teach a class in that you'd probably do pretty well seriously there's your next there's your next side hustle you could do like a whole you could do a whole video series oh my gosh mixed martial yes Mix Marshall. Yes. OCD Alyssa, I'm head. sorry. Can, I, can you flip? I left my phone out in the heater, but I just noticed and I want it to blow up. Yeah, right there. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I just left news, it in the sun. This is the part where the news headline comes into real life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're always so Lucy's not that exciting. Baby I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> so this book was uh, was brought on by your. Your children being a parent, just my, and yeah, and my first, my first and nephews. Um, what other? But you said you wrote adult books too. We do. Well, just, this is the only book for adults. All the oh, other I ones, mean the all the other books, ones are children's yep. books. Um, Ashley and I actually have a book that we started working on before this book. This book um, just poured out of me really quickly. <laughs> but the other book, um, I've, you know. We didn't really have a time limit for that, and Ashley has spent, I think, a couple of years now working well, on, on and off. It's one on of those things where, just like this, I mean, this is not my normal style. Of, I actually tend to paint still life in acrylics. Oh, wow. So the little drawings are, tend to be on, like, birthday cards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or actually, I, I used to illustrate um, grammar tips for our newsroom, you know, in black and white. Oh, but, that's um, great. This other one, I think the big part of the process, just like with paintings, is that you have to really, the thought process before you start mm. is is really the hardest part right. for me. Like once I get, I have to figure out the style, I have sure. to get the characters right, and it takes like, it takes a lot of trial and error. I mean, there are all kinds of drawings before I chose this, you know? It's a fine move. And I really think there are things like that in life, so yeah. I just, I, I don't, I want it to be right, you know? Right. It's not too I, fast, and it's I want to be right. <laughs> By the way, Friday's garbage day. Oh, yeah. here at the station. <laughs> Heroes, so we were the just, uh, so every time we go live outside, outside, it's yeah. like hilarious. Yep. That's how. That's how. I don't, it is. Hopefully, I'm not here. Uh, we really literally good. we just had this conversation: a leaf blower, a sprinkler, <laughs> yes. a passing train, a dump yes. truck. Every time it's you so go so outside. Cute. Oh. You're like, thanks, thanks for coming back. Good. good timing. Nope. No, he's getting. Oh, he's he's got to check something. Oh, okay. <laughs> this could be a while. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, so, I what got this. you into illustrating? Like, how did you get inspired, or has well, this just always been like a? No, I mean, kind since I was a child, my mom jokes. When I was a child, I, I was actually born with pemp- paper and pencil in hand. Okay. My parents used to say I had like a paper factory in my bedroom. <laughs> I was one of those kids. I had a special cabinet in the kitchen 
with art supplies, oh, like great. they just let me run wild. So once I got to school for journalism, I couldn't take painting classes without getting a degree. So I just went oh. and got the fine arts degree. Oh wow! That allowed me That's to right. okay. have that. I think it's always just part of me that mm -hmm. create. It just it is more Ashley than anything else That's about amazing. me. You know, so like that, that part. <laughs> we so. didn't know. My wife and I really didn't know that much about Ashley's art, although we had we knew that she was an artist of sorts, mm -hmm. but we'd never really seen anything. And um, we went over to her apartment for dinner one night, and she has, it's like an art gallery in her apartment. Wow. Like, all the stuff that she has everywhere, all the stuff that she's done, and we were, like, just blown away. And it was at the time we were, um, as soon as we got pregnant, we wanted a mural of Winnie the Pooh's 100 Acre Woods in, in our son's room, but we didn't, all the, you know, we talked to some artists, and they were like, oh, thousands of dollars, and da-da-da, and I, and I said... Maybe we could ask Ashley if she would be interested in doing that. And we approached her with it. She said she'd never done anything like that before. But she did it. And it was the most amazing thing. And she Aww. did. She hid his initials in different parts of the tree and stuff like that. That's and she did all kinds thing. of stuff. Yeah. And oh, that's uh, cool. it was really. it was. And then when this came out, I was like, well, What's there's only certain people I would trust to, to do things about my kids or right, whatever, right. you know, and it have to be somebody who knows me. And What's interesting way. about that mural, though, it almost sets it up. It's a, he said, well, could you do the non-toxic paint? Which, of course, <laughs> that's not my normal. I don't use wall paint. Right. <laughs> so that was, I've never painted a tree, never anything as large as a tree, nor in that type of paint. Right. So that was actually the biggest challenge you know it's like wow how do these materials but that was one of those things like you're really you were thinking ahead so much for your children right yeah. you know, wanting it to be healthy right I have a picture of it I can on my phone I can yeah no hold, we you want me to hold it up it. you want to see it um you saw my phone yeah. it, it's in the cool it's in the cool Here, I'll let you I'll let cool. you hold it up because I don't want to mess up your Facebook um, lives. let me see Ashley I love that you take on something you're like I never did it before so I did it like I yes. think that's amazing you don't you're not afraid to like okay I'll do it you know and well, like I've, I know I've always wanted to write and illustrate children's books since I was a child and I have a bunch of them I've been working on but um, this was one of those this is definitely a challenge you know it's somebody you else's vision cameras. you don't know how they'll receive it <laughs> right you know and also how the world will receive it it's always weird to put your work out there and say okay, like okay, okay, I knew you were gonna yes. I knew it was gonna be great as soon as you started doing it you oh. showed me since I was like I know this is gonna be great Ashley, yeah, I know it's pretty you can you see close up there I don't you know go. if you can see it or not let me see if I can see as you can you see can you see I'm it? a little delayed on here oh there she wait you know what yeah, a, a little, little bit. bit. We can, yeah. you know what? We'll we comment with a picture yeah, on the Facebook. Be great. Yeah. That would be great. We'll make sure you can. See. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Just, <laughs> oh I feel bad that you're taking <laughs> care of it. Oh, oh. oh, oh wow! Gosh. I know. That's amazing. That's we were in shock. <laughs> we were in shock. <laughs> we were because it was. It was. I mean, we knew it was going to be amazing, but we yeah. didn't know it was going to be like amazing, amazing. amazing. Yeah. yeah. And is. she. We should have assumed it would have been amazing. That's so different. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. So yeah, the other book, um, I don't, I didn't, we didn't have the timeline for that. You were not, so you're a, not giving me a timeline, which is a, fine. I don't want you to. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you're, no cause this, this I kind of. Yeah, this. One. Actually, you gave me the the last Christmas. Was it two Christmases ago? Two Christmases ago, um, Ashley came in with an envelope with a bow on it. She said, "I here's your Christmas present." And I opened it up, and it was all the illustrations for this book. Oh, so I didn't know that she, she had finished it or not. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, my God, this is so great. And then it took us another year to yeah. sort of publish it on Amazon. Right. Uh, we have a great graphic design guy named Philip, who's also yeah, a great artist. A great job. But yeah. he went into Amazon to create space, which is where you can publish sure. your own stuff. Right. And he did the layout and everything for us and, and put it all together. So that's It takes amazing. a team. We're also going to yeah. put, if we haven't already, the link yes, so that you guys can purchase this. Seriously, it's awesome. It's perfect so for parents with babies, yes. grandparents, because they'll laugh at it or they'll be like, oh my gosh, that was this is the best. <laughs> like a baby shower gift, but yes. also like a birthday gift for a mom, a new mom, or an old. I mean, it can go any once you have a kid. Totally yeah. relate to this. Yep. So relatable. That's so awesome. We are doing a. Um, we just we just did a well yeah there's a sequel called Don't Touch My Belly that'll be out. Oh, oh that's um, awesome. <laughs> there is something Look about at us. Oh my yeah. god! I'm like they just um, run up to you and you're like yeah. Stop the uh, 
there's a, a, a book that I have coming out in, in April or May with a with another artist. So I didn't want to overload Ashley, but uh, another amazing artist named Sarah Lapierre, who is a very okay. popular local artist. Her okay. dad, Joe Lapierre, is a very famous local artist, and um, she'll be at Art de Gras, where we will be doing a book signing at Art de Gras oh, really? in Jupiter oh. uh, next that? Saturday. Okay. It's President's Day weekend, it's a week for tomorrow. so we'll yeah, be there exactly. um, oh. Saturday the seventeenth from one thirty to three thirty p.m. Just signing okay. copies of this book, okay. and we'll have the Channel Five tent. Art de Gras, uh, can you get a co- can you buy a copy there? Yeah. Okay. 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 I bought okay. a um. So now a, a, a professional I am. I bought one of those little square readers yes, for, for our credit need. cards, yeah. and then um, and I bought a zipper envelope. For, <laughs> oh. for, I know. You are set. You're Look ready. at what I did. I went and bought a zipper envelope for cash. I was like, what if we get cash? And I went on Amazon. I'm like, I need a zipper envelope. My wife's like, what are you buying now? Stop. <laughs> She's like, here is your budget for this book. Oh, she's All right. the real you. She's the accountant. She's everything. So okay. She's also the she's editor. Awesome. She's That's one great, of, though. you got to have mom of the, the year. best of both. Yeah. You know? She's amazing. <laughs> yeah. The creative and the person who's like stuff. Uh, she was a reporter money. for a bunch of years, so she knows how to handle me. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, that, is that how you met? <laughs> yes. Aww, yeah. We met at the nice. same station in West Texas. West Texas. Ah. Yeah. Do you have your, did you order your pens to sign, too? <laughs> no. You need special uh, pens. Why do we need special pens? Where do you get special pens? Well, I wouldn't do Sharpies because then it'll go through on the... Yeah, that's what happened yeah. last yeah, we'll, year. We did we'll that. We'll that sorted out. Yeah. She'll what do you want? Like another artist, your we'll illustrator, illustrator will help yeah. you. Like an Omni ball or something? Get it'll the perfect... A point six fine... What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is out of my league. Oh, I love it. Maybe there'll be another Amazon box showing up at your doorstep with some pens. They'd be in trouble. Yikes. All right. So, thank you guys so much for coming on. Thank you guys for coming on. We this really appreciate it. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. If you do, I feel bad. We're, we're having too no, much fun I'm talking. Looking that through. We're... We've had a couple highs from a couple people. Let me just say. Do you have questions on, my, on our pages? Oh, if you go. have any questions and you're watching the replay, please feel free to ask any questions and we'll forward them to Ashley and Glenn. Michael Salvant. Salvano said good morning oh, from Fort Pierce, Florida. Oh, hey, Fort Pierce. Nice. Okay, cool. Hi. Hello. And then uh, Maria, I hope it's Ebby. Yep. She oh, said jealous. Happy Friday. Oh. She's jealous that we're with you guys. Ronald Mann said hi. So Hello, Ronald, Ronald Mann. Mann. Hello. Oh, and Yolande Moore. She's hey. always one of our hey. hey. She always comes on and says hi. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yolande, what are you doing? Yes. Yolande, you need this book. You do. You went back up. I know. It's awesome. I'm glad you guys like it. it. When you're, I mean, you're a new parent and people, I mean, this, it's always blown me away. When somebody says I'm pregnant or I just had a baby in my presence, I hear the other moms in particular come forward to say, oh, this is what you need to know. (laughs) And sometimes that information totally conflicts with something they just heard or they believe or whatever. I mean, how do you filter all of the information you receive because it is a short span of time oh yeah it's like <laughs> so i feel like nobody gives you a handbook when you become a parent it doesn't come out so you kind kid. of create your own in your mind and so you do you get all this different information and you do filter it and you say okay that's good but you can't like get overwhelmed by every single thing you hear and when you should do this and when you should do that and vaccinate and breastfeeding there's just so many things right. you just have to go with your gut and do what's really right for you. And a lot of the times, like we have a special Facebook group for um, SoFlo Moms, it's a mom tribe. So you have to build the tribe. You have to build the parents that you you click with, the dads you click with, the moms, and you end up finding that way where your values and your things that just, you know, everybody does things so differently. And you just can't judge. And you can't judge and you can't. And that's what I've learned. You know, you just can't judge people because you just, everybody has a story. Every parent's going through something. Sure. And you just never know, and you just have to give the hugs. We kind of have a policy where we don't give anybody advice unless they ask for it. Exactly. Like, no, exactly. that's just our policy. I mean, because yeah. so many people are telling them so many things that they come to us and say, my kid screams in the backseat of the car. Every time I get in the sure. car with them, they're crying in the backseat of the car. Then we'll give them our sure. what worked for us Make them in music that situation. Louder. Oh, trust me. I was- <laughs> I we just well that yeah. helps too. I like that. Like we crack the window and it creates yeah. some white noise yeah. in the back there, okay, and then see? they could like pass it. Let me tap it on the But that's you know. No, but it is. You just have to. Uh, you can't get too caught up in to, it. And you have to just be nice, be kind. 
Yeah, and be kind to one another. And listen to everybody's stories, because everybody is doing things different. And sure. Oh, I was a judgmental parent when I had my first one. I was like, oh, you're not taking your baby? Because I had my baby had to go in her bed, wouldn't transfer from the car. I would leave the play date. The second kid slept in the car when I backed out of the drive. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Kids, kids are different. Kids. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, right. now I feel bad. And now I know, like, every kid is different. And there's no handle. And you so many times you want to say, you're doing what with your kids? <laughs> yeah. But you just kind of... <laughs> Like, that's no. great. That's mm. great. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Tell me how that works out. <laughs> yeah. Call me later. South Florida, I mean, South Florida is a really great place to raise families. You By know, far. You have these beautiful neighborhoods and gorgeous beach and, like, so much good stuff. But I bet that there are things about living in South Florida that make it a unique place to parent. Oh, too, for sure, right? Yeah. I mean, that's mm-hmm. why you have this. This, this that's like a whole another home, episode. Right? We'll have you back on. Yeah, you can ask us three questions, and we'll like, <laughs> we'll you be can, like that's another episode. Tell you. Yeah, <laughs> it would be it awesome. Is, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, it might be a few hours. I know. <laughs> they, extra, extra long episodes. So, well, so cool. thank you guys thank so you. much. Yes. Once thank again, you guys. The Yay. book. The link will be on, on the back. in the comments. <laughs> yes, and you can get to ner- learn a little bit more about Glenn and Ashley in the back. Oh, yeah. That's you. That's my son right there in that picture. And he's a babe? Yeah. Oh, and he's that cutie little. Here's little. Here's your little. Urban. She passed away. She's a Wow. Long Dude, life. Talk about cat life. Jude, yeah. Jude was so. It's amazing to even remember he was such a beautiful baby from the start. Oh. So. Oh yeah. my gosh, this is a piece of work. Baby. <laughs> 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 they both are. Yeah. <laughs> Bourbon was a sweet girl. Oh. 21. Yeah, That's she amazing. Just, just was able to start drinking. I know. <laughs> no, no, she was so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, she was so <laughs> sweet. We yeah. love Aww. Bourbon. So sweet. All right, so I think I know that we put the link in below so mm-hmm. you can purchase the book on Amazon and then Great. see you guys at Art. Art, Art and Grog. Art and Grog. Grog. Next Sweet Saturday. Yeah, in Jupiter. Jupiter. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be fun. It's crazy. It's going to be up there with the kids. Yeah, really, really, really fun. There's a kids. We'll be in the kids area, actually. Oh, okay, great. cool. You'll, so, see, you'll see my nutcase. Even though it's not necessarily a kid's book, it kind of uh, looks like one, so. Yeah, no. Perfect. We'll be sure to inform because parents because the before parents they buy it. All the are going to be there. Yes. So yes. it's like the perfect spot. Yeah, you'll yeah. see my crazy boys running around like mad men. Oh. Perfect. I know. Well, thank you guys so thank you. much. Yeah, we love it. Thanks. 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 Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank you guys. I love you. having you. All right. Back and to work for us. I know. Yeah. Good weekend, everybody. Yeah, you have too. a good weekend. You too. See you next weekend. We'll, um, so we're going, we have, um, you should tune in on Sundays. We do a series called The Juggle is Real oh. with like parenting and how you juggle working and the kids and everything. And so this juggle. Sunday, we do I a split juggle. screen because we can't, <laughs> I, can't I know juggle. I can't juggle either. <laughs> but we're going to be together, mm-hmm. uh, far apart. Split far screen, apart. we yeah. do a split screen. So, Sundays at 8. And uh, it's what happened to the traditional birthday party. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, oh, now it's wow. like a wedding. Everything's like a wedding. That it's is insane. such a good topic. Yeah, <laughs> so on Sundays, we kind of wow. get a little deeper into the parenting. Yeah. And then we do the fun mm-hmm. stuff during the week. Yeah. So, uh, do you know, Are you fans of Jim Gaffigan at all? Do you ever yes. watch his comedy? Yeah. So he was, he was on a Jerry Seinfeld's Comedians in Cars Getting yes, Coffee recently. Yes, I love that. And he said, he said something that my wife and I just burst out laughing. He said, have you been to a kid's birthday party in the past 10 years where there wasn't pizza? Oh, that's <laughs> true. We were like, no. No, every party. <laughs> yes, he's like, this is the best thing about kids' birthday parties is pizza at every kid's every birthday party. Yeah. So now you just, every person sounds like, oh, I'm starting a new trend. I'm not doing I'm going to do sliders. What? Sliders. A commenter who asked about more information about Artie Graf. Oh, oh, it's Artie no, Graf. That's a good question. Artie Graf. It's not too expensive. I can kids, from there yeah, too. kids are of a, are they five and under is free or something? We have to I check that well, out. That's a good we'll, question. You know, we'll yeah, link you we'll to the find out after that, the show. Too. We'll link back in the comments. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. Okay, we'll get you that. And then Tuesday's show, we're going to be at at local greens um, in Delray. It's mm-hmm. actually Galentine's Day, so it's the day before yeah, Valentine's yeah. Day. So it's Galentine's Day when you celebrate your gal friends. Um, and we are going to be interviewing a fellow blogger. Aww. It feels so weird. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a lady show <laughs> that I should be part of. <laughs> uh, we're going uh, <laughs> to be interviewing Guy in Town today. I'm sure there is one. That's ah, all right. A guy in we're time. Not guy we're not doing times. that. Guy no, it has, does not at all sound really but good. The, the problem is football, football's over, and like you can't really. Yeah. Yeah. Every Sunday was guy in time. That's true. Football season. We've had a lot of those. And We've Thursdays, and Wednesdays, yeah, and Friday. And Sunday nights. It's been a lot of guy in time. You make a good point. 
Sorry. <laughs> Enough with the guy in time. <laughs> you asked for it. Yeah, oh. yeah. All right, guys, so we are going to tune off. Wait, say, tell them you were talking about Local Greens. Oh, sorry. So we are going to be at Local Greens next Tuesday <laughs> for Valentine's Day, interviewing Flavia, who is a fabulous person. Yes. And she's also a blogger uh, for Neat House Sweet, Sweet Home. Home. So we're going to get some organizing <laughs> tips and tricks because I need it. Yes, and we'll be back at our regular time at 12. At 12. But on Tuesday. But on Tuesday, Tuesday yes. I know. Before Galen, Galentine's We're Day. We're keeping you on your toes. Yeah. So have All a right. fabulous weekend. Thanks. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.